those are some of the headlines we're following for you here on Weekend Express this Saturday morning. Hope you're doing well today. I'm Natasha Curry. New this morning, there was a dangerous outbreak of bacterial meningitis at Princeton University. Officials are so worried that they may use a vaccine that's not even approved for use in the U.S. CNN's Alexandra Field is covering this story on the Princeton campus. Now, Alexandra joins us now from the Ivy League campus. Alexandra, how scary this is. Have they found any link uh, among the cases at Princeton other than most our students? Great. So a Minnesota turkey grower is looking for the best of the best. Two of his birds are headed to the White House. You might want to cozy up by the fire because it's going to be cold for a lot of you today. Meteorologist Samantha Moore with your forecast. Hey. Hi, Natasha. Yeah, very wintry across much of the... Are you shopping for a mortgage? Well, here are the latest national numbers. All right, we have three new shows for you. Sunday nights on HLN starting December 1st. Upwave is a block of shows that will help you live a healthy life. Here's a sneak peek of one of those shows. Ready for the title? Cook Your Ass Off with Richard Blaze. Take a look. I'm here with one of your favorite chefs on TV, Richard Blaze from Cook Your Ass Off. Mom, sorry. So first of all, let's talk about this. What is the show about? What sets it apart from the others? Well, each week we have an American on our panel and we bring them on our panel to judge. What's something that the viewer is going to really see in this that they don't see anywhere else? Well, I mean, I think just... Now tell me about this name because that's one that really sticks out, you know, in your head. You're like, can I say that? But you went there. But it is fun to say. Like right? when I'm Isn't like, it? all right, chefs. And it really goes with the mission of the show, too. It's educational aspect of the show that's not seen in other shows. Whether it's heart disease, childhood obesity, I mean, these are things that people struggle with and... You're making eating healthy fun is what it sounds we're like. We're making eating healthy fun. And it is possible. Forget everything that you know about superheroes and remember one name, Miles Scott, aka Bat Kid. Oh, and at one point, Miles even got some help from his younger brother who dressed up as Robin and stood right by his side. The an ex-con turned bread mogul has been arrested. Curiosity seekers and presidential history buffs will have a chance to own some of the things that belong to former president Gerald Ford. The best man holiday is in theaters right now. And earlier this week, I sat down with the director and a few of the actors, including Morris Chestnut, who told me how he got in shape to play an NFL star. And I have to thank you. Um, I mean, you've got a gorgeous cast. Hey, Diggs is a Terrence Howard as well. And you had Mr. M Morris go shirtless <laughs> twice, I counted. <laughs> Almost three times. I was going to ask you to the interview without your shirt on, but I'll behave myself. <laughs> <laughs> Morris, what was like that? Like, it, did you have to get ready for it? What was that all about? Oh, definitely, definitely. Because Malcolm, before we started shooting, he was telling me that I had to, I had to really convey being a football player mm. still in his prime. Well, not in his prime, but still being able to get that V. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll back and see it again. But first of all, Malcolm, you said, uh, I was listening after the screening last night, you were talking about, you, you didn't think people wanted to see a romantic black comedy. Why? This was amazing. You know, I tell you what, it, it, it's, it's the, the, the industry goes. The film so much. What was your favorite part about it? For me, I mean, you know, it was all, well, I can't say it was all. Uh, song oh, and dance. Yes. Yeah, yeah, you dancing. and old school brought in new edition, Stevie Wonder in the film even. Yeah, absolutely. Great music in the film, but that's impressive. He did a very <laughs> nice job. Thank you. Well, it took a lot of work. It looks, you know, because Tay and Harold are like classically trained yeah. dancers, uh -huh. and I'm, I'm working at it, and, and Terrence <laughs> is just not even practicing. Oh, you got it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, Morris, Malcolm, Regina, uh, thank you so much, and you got to check out Best Man Holiday right in theaters right now. It's amazing. Check out the first one and then check out this. It's all worth it. You'll enjoy it. 700 people had to leave a small town because of an underground pipeline explosion. A convicted rapist will not do any jail time. It was the judge's decision, too. This is a real case going on right now in Alabama. CNN's Nick Valencia joins us to talk about it. And I know you sat down with this girl, this victim. What did she tell you? Pain. In fact, her prosecutors, the district attorney's office. Attorney um, is still pushing for something else. What's going on with that? What these two sides agree on, both the attorney is completely backing him up, wanting to right. appeal. So is the judge talking about this controversial verdict? I mean, it's Nick Valencia. Thank you so much. You it is Saturday. You're watching Weekend Express. I'm Natasha Curry. Thanks for joining us. Randy Zuckerberg spent six years working for Facebook. She's the sister of the company's famous co-founder, Mark Zuckerberg. She talks about how to use the technology instead of letting it use you. Now, in her book, Zuckerberg talked about unplugging and even proposed the idea of a digital Sabbath. 
taking an, an entire day away from the phones and the laptops. I love it. Well, she believes that even a few hours away can be a really big help. A 13 year old's love for the environment is helping her find a niche in designing and selling eco friendly products. It's the power of she that has this young CEO taking care of business and giving back.